Officially, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in Jerusalem is recognized as the true tomb of Jesus of Nazareth. However, there are other currents of thought that claim that he was buried in different places. The location of the tomb of Jesus is more a matter of faith. According to the accounts of the New Testament, the body of Christ ascended to heaven three days after the crucifixion. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is one of the culminating moments of all the religious currents that derive from Christianity, as it represents the triumph over death and the hope of the ascent to heaven. Therefore, in none of the alleged burials there is a body. Church of the Holy Sepulcher, Jerusalem The Church of the Holy Sepulcher is located in the Holy Land, Jerusalem. It was built over the cave that tradition marks as the one where the body of Christ was buried and then rose on the third day. The small temple is under the custody of the Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church, and the Armenian Apostolic Church and is a meeting point for millions of parishioners who visit it every year. All tourists who enter have a moment alone to pray in front of the stone where it is believed that Christ was laid. The exact site where the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was erected was determined by Helena of Constantinople, also known as St. Helena, the patroness of archaeology, between the years 312 and 326. St. Helena is the mother of Emperor Constantine, and during her travels to Jerusalem, she set out to locate the places where Jesus passed in his last days of life, in what we know today as Via Crucis, which means Way of the Cross. After investigations made in the city, St. Helena came to a site where it was believed to be the Mount of Calvary, and there, years later, a cave was found with three crosses inside. The story goes that to know if that was the tomb, and if any of those crosses was the one where Christ died, St. Helena did a test with a sick person, whom she made touch the timbers, and in the one where he healed, she chose as the Holy Cross. Since then, this place has been recognized as the site where Jesus Christ was buried and different temples were erected over the centuries because some were destroyed during invasions or were damaged by natural causes. Garden Tomb, Jerusalem This place is near the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, in the Holy Land. There are historians and parishioners who consider this tomb to be the true one. It was discovered in 1867, after archaeologists followed the trail of various accounts of the Via Crucis that reached a rocky formation that could have been the Mount of Calvary. The Gospels tell that Jesus Christ was buried near the place where he died crucified, and in the area where the archaeologists arrived, they found precisely a tomb with characteristics of the first century. Evangelical and Protestant currents recognize this place as authentic. Talpio Tomb, Jerusalem On the outskirts of the old city of Jerusalem, a burial was found in the Talpiot neighborhood in the 1980s. This discovery, although important for archaeology, did not seem to mean anything more. In the tomb, ten skeletons were found. On one of them, an ancient text could be read that, translated into English, says Jesus son of Joseph. This made researchers consider that it could be the tomb of Jesus Christ. In addition to Jesus and Joseph, other names that were found in the inscriptions were those of Mary, Matthew, Mariamne, and Judas, all of them mentioned as part of the close circle of Christ in the evangelical texts. A documentary was made in the 90s to explain in more detail the findings of the tomb of the ten ossuaries, but its authenticity has been questioned by evangelical researchers. Shingo Tomb, Japan This is the most debated of all the alleged burials of Jesus of Nazareth. It is a place in Shingo, Japan, where it is believed that Christ lived after the events narrated in the Gospels. The story that is told about it is that Christ did not die on the cross, but survived, left Jerusalem and traveled east until he reached Japan where he settled and made a family. That amazing theory is based on texts found in 1930 known as Takanochi documents, in which it is narrated that Jesus was not crucified, but that someone else took his place. 
Thus Jesus Christ would have fled from Jerusalem and arrived in Japan where he had already been before between his 20 and 30 years. In exile, he lived as a home man, dedicated to the field and died past 100 years of age, this theory points out. They call me a girl.